Jane Adventures, Enemy of the Bane, the sixth story of Series 2, is written by Phil Ford and is starring Elizabeth Sladen, Tommy Knight, Daniel Anthony, Anjali Mahindra, and Alexander Armstrong. So yeah, Russell T. Davis said in his non-fiction book, Doctor Who, The Writer's Tale, that Freema Adjiman was originally going to appear in a story as Martha Jones, but Freema was busy working on Law and Order series. So instead we have a special treat. Nicholas Courtney came back as the Brigadier, which is amazing. He last appeared in the Battlefield, Sylvester McCoy's era. Well, a brief cameo in the 1993 charity special, Dimensions of Time. Aside from the 1995 director video, Downtime, Samantha Bond came back as Mrs. Wormwood, who appeared in the first episode of Sarah Jane Adventures, Invasion of the Bane. Anthony O'Donnell came back as Commander Cag, who appeared in the first... Series 2 story, The Last Centauran. So the story begins with Rani's mother, Gita, working late in her flower shop called Bloomin' Lovely. Ha! <laughs> well, it's Blooming Lovely name for a flower shop. <laughs> Mrs. Wormwood came in and introduced herself as Wormwood, Mrs. Wormwood. Just like how James Bond introduces himself. And funny thing is, Samantha Bond played M in Pierce Brosnan's James Bond films. So she puts Gita to sleep and kidnaps her. After Luke has a nightmare about Mrs. Wormwood, Ronnie is upset that her mum has disappeared, which I think is well written. So they investigate Gita's flower shop and Mrs. Wormwood has left a note. So they got Mr. Smith to scan if there was a hidden code, which offers clues to Mrs. Wormwood's location. So they found Gita in a blackout and Mrs. Wormwood apparently wanted Sarah Jane's help. Mrs. Wormwood also saved Sarah Jane and Rani from the other Bane and took Gita back home. Gita tries to remember if she met Mrs. Wormwood, but she's like, Nah, that's not me. So they went in the attic, we find out that Mrs. Wormwood is getting blamed by other Banes for the failure of the Earth invasion and the death of the Bane mother. Surprisingly, didn't blame the Doctor or Sarah Jane or even Torchwood for a change. Mrs. Wormwood also mentioned an ancient immortal Harath tried to take over the galaxy, but was defeated 3,000 years ago. Unable to destroy him, Harath's captors separated his body and consciousness and placed them at opposite ends of the galaxy, and the Bane had found Harath's consciousness and are trying to find his body, which is like so many other things of galactic importance on Earth, once united, the Bane will be able to conquer the galaxy. The only clue to the body's location is in Tungaska Scroll, kept in Unit Black Archive, a secure storehouse of alien artifacts. Sarah Jane gets Mr. Smith to hold her in the cell. She and Ronnie visit to an old friend. Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart, well, Sir Alistair Gordon as his retired man, but I'm going to call him Brigadier as that's what everyone calls him. Major Kilburn wanted to know more about Brigadier's mission on Peru, and I loved how Brigadier referenced past monsters like Daleks, Cybermen, Autons, and Zygons, and when he also turns around and goes, Sarah Jane Smith. It's a lovely reunion with Sarah Jane and Brigadier, as we haven't seen them on screen together since the Five Doctors, well, apart from downtime. Sarah Jane needs Brigadier's help to break into the archive, so Brigadier drove them there, and so Sarah Jane and Ronnie picked up Tungaska's scroll, but Major Kilburn and unit soldiers went after them. And I just love the way Brigadier is like, Major! Fantastic! So Sarah Jane uses her sonic lipstick so she, Ronnie, and Brigadier can escape. Meanwhile, at the attic, Mrs. Wormwood's talking to Luke, and yes, when she says, Luke, I'm your mother, does that sound familiar? Well, misquoted, as Darth Vader says, no, I am your father. So the Bane is outside the house, so Luke released Mrs. Wormwood from the force field and ran in the garden while Mrs. Wormwood is saving Luke and Clyde from the Bane. The other two surrounded them, but then Commander Cag appeared and blasted a Bane and saved Mrs. Wormwood, and she reveals her revenge plan, such as Sarah Jane leading them to Harath, making them the emperors of the galaxy and crush the Earth which leads to Cliffhanger. So in part two, Luke and Clyde uses the host to stop the Bane, but then Mrs. Wormwood uses her ring to vibrate both Banes and explode them as Clyde and Luke are covered with their guts. Gross. 
So Sarah Jane, Rani and Brigadier arrived and because the unit could be searching for them, they need to find a good place to hide, which is Geeta's flower shop, the blooming lovely place to hide. Yeah, Mrs. Wormwood is desperate to take the scroll off Sarah Jane, then Commander Kag came in, and Brigadier has got the point when he says, you alien chaps never get the message. So Sarah Jane gave the scroll to Mrs. Wormwood, and she decides to take Luke with her and put Sarah Jane, Rani, Clyde and Brigadier to sleep. Meanwhile, Geeta meets Major Kilburn at Sarah Jane's house, pretending to be her nephew. Mrs. Wormwood, Kag and Luke arrived in the factory after Mrs. Wormwood tells Luke he could be a ruler. Luke takes the device and ran for it, but of course Kag went after him, but he sadly gets captured. So meanwhile, the gang arrived back at the Bannerman Road. Clyde went to check the house through the garden. Sarah Jane, Rani and Brigadier went through the front door and found Major Kilburn strangling Clyde with his arm as he's trying to stop them. Luckily, Clyde managed to got Kilburn to sit down and Brigadier poking his walking stick at him. <laughs> Sarah Jane and Clyde went to the attic to Mr. Smith to find Luke's location. Major Kilburn revealed to be the Bane, which is intense, but it's okay because Brigadier can shoot with his walking stick. He may be an old man, but he can still fight. So the gang says goodbye to the Brigadier and borrows Geeta's van. Mrs. Wormwood, Luke and Cag arrived at the stone circle and find a force field around it where only humans can enter, so she forces Luke to insert the scroll. When he does that, the stone circle a portal opens which leads to Harath. So Sarah Jane arrives just as Mrs. Wormwood gets Luke to be a god and she's his mother, but Luke says Sarah Jane is his real mother. Mrs. Wormwood was about to kill a gang, but surprisingly, Commander Cag saved them. Well, that's because he wants to regain his honour. So he pushes Mrs. Wormwood into the portal along with himself, trap themselves into another dimension and a portal closed. It's a cool looking effect, and it's amazing that Sarah Jane has got another sonic lipstick, so she used that to destroy the scroll. She mentions how amazing the universe can be. So after the final goodbye to the Brigadier, the gang looks at the shooting star in the sky. So, that's Enemy of the Bane, and it's another great story. Like I said, it's so great to see Nicholas Courtney return as the Brigadier, and it's a shame that he passed away not long. Rest in peace, man. So, what did you guys think of this story, part one and two? Let me know in the comments down below, and this is the final Sarah Jane Adventures Series 2 story, plus I'm going to include comic relief special as it's on the Wikipedia list of Sarah Jane Adventures serial. I mean the stories, nothing to do with fair uh, breakfasts. So thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video.